We always ask our guests, why do you love racing? You've got a good story. You actually met your wife, your love of your life, at the races. Yeah, Avoca Cup. Had my eye on Anita and her father won the, uh, the Avoca Cup. And Barry James. Barry James. And... Uh, back the horse. And then uh, back, back the real winner after the cup. So that was, <laughs> that was very good, Ross. My first job was to shovel the uh, horse manure off the track at Bray Raceway. My job was to get out with the shovel and uh, put it in the bucket and quickly get off the track before the, the starter or the mobile bar had run over the top of me. And then I got a promotion. I was allowed to sell some um, pencils near the race books. <laughs> you had one of the best days of your sporting career at once. Yeah, it was 2003. Leon Cameron was uh, playing with the Tigers. I was coaching the Tigers and uh, my father-in-law's horse, Sylvana, loved Adelaide. This is a particular day, it was $44. Yeah. Uh, Leon Cameron had the favourite Mummify in the Derby, so we doubled it up into Mummify. Yeah. Um, so you can imagine, I'm the coach of Richmond, Leon's playing, we're in the pub at about 3.50 <laughs> Saturday afternoon, and then I've looked at my, oh shit, we've got a, uh, can I swear then? Yep, that's fine. Um, we've got a game of football. That's racing. We're playing the Bombers, and eight goals zero. We're up by eight. Quarter time, I'm thinking, where's where's the bar? I'm just going to walk across the bay here. I can walk on water. We end up winning, but it's fair to say that a good bottle of red come out that night, and um, yeah, it tastes well. It tastes really good. <laughs> Yeah, let me ask you a question. We've got to establish your bona fides here. On the punt, would you rather win a thousand dollars or almost win a hundred thousand dollars? Almost win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you passed. Yeah. You passed. <laughs> almost. You passed the exam. <laughs> We get to the last leg and we've got we've got seven in the last leg. Pink Moon down the end was a, paying about $49. Trying to pick it up, a good battle in the last. Pink Moon the outside, Manila Jewel comes again on the fence, but Pink Moon beat Manila Jewel. Some bloke moons them the night before, gets thrown in the corner and gets up at 50s. Look at this. Listen to this. this Here's is Rashudo, Steve yeah. Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. 50 to 1 shot in the fourth leg. Anyway. There's a waiting for the result. 58,000. That, that is when we... <laughs> the the quaddy was 58,000, so we worked out that the nine of us got about five and a half grand each. So, um, <laughs> From a 50 in. Right, we actually went to the Mirraborough TAB yeah. and uh, put the ticket over. And the guy nearly fell over. He said, oh, guys, I've, I've got uh, $500 in here. Come on. Been great to have you on, Spud. Uh, Danny Frawley.